We continue to another mall hidden in the southern tier of New York, the Chautauqua Mall. Some say it shares the roots with the Upper Valley Mall in Ohio, rest in peace. Given the developer of the two malls, there may be more merit to that claim than one thinks. Chautauqua Mall opened its doors for the first time in 1971, its development funded by Eddie DiBartolo. That's a name we haven't heard in a while, actually. This would lend merit to the claims that it was the sister of Upper Valley Mall, more so when you pay attention to the layouts of both malls. The original anchors for Chautauqua Mall would include Sears, Woolworth, J.C. Penney, and Quality Markets. J.C. Penney is still here, so you'd imagine they've been with the mall for all of its life, right? Right? Wrong. J.C. Penney departed early on in 1986, and the space would turn over quickly to James Way that year. Some space would be left over, and that would get filled in by a business called Present Company. This particular James Way, however, would be a replacement store for another in Jamestown and would end up being the 100th store in the chain. Unfortunately, this was short-lived, as James Way would close in 1993, as well as Woolworth. Meanwhile, quality markets would leave at the mall to relocate elsewhere, J.C. Penney, though, would come back to the mall in 1997, taking over a significant portion of James Way's space. Meanwhile, Bonton would come in to fill in and expand the old Woolworth space. Office Max would then proceed to fill in the rest of the space left behind by James Way. Under the presumed guidance of Simon, a large number of new stores would be added to the inlines of the mall, which included Spencer's, The Gap, Old Navy, and electronics boutique. The mall did have a food court, albeit briefly, which died, came back to life, and died again before coming back to life, but not until dying and coming back to life again. Yeah, it was quite a saga, as I learned. The first death came when the vendor for all the food court tenants pulled out. The second go hosted Hot Stuff Pizza, Orange Julius, and Mean Jeans Burgers. But all, all of those closed by 2002. And eventually, the food court would come back to life again, hosting a subway and a few local joints. As we reach the 2010s, Olive Garden arriving in 2013 would be the only good news for the mall. Bonton would close in August 2018 along with the rest of the chain, Sears would shut its doors for the last time in October of that year, and November 2018 would see Famous Footwear shut its doors. And then, in 2020, while the mall was still able to continue business, Office Max would shut its doors for the last time. And if that wasn't enough, the current owners, Washington Prime, just recently announced bankruptcy. Although there is that small possibility that they might get a bailout on our dime to keep limping along. Only time will tell what will come of this mall as we go onward into the future. Ignoring the Halloween decorations thanks to this visit taking place in October 2019, I have to say, I'm not really that impressed with the way this mall looks. 
It's not ugly, no. It also doesn't leave me hating life the way other malls do, but it's just very plain and boring. I suppose the fireplace and recreational spot near the central entrance isn't all that bad, but otherwise, this mall just can't stack up with all the other malls I've visited in this trip. You gotta make this mall stand out, look unique, or something, anything really. Although I can see how people make the connection that this is the sister mall to the Upper Valley Mall. In fact, looking at the layout, it's kind of like a smaller version, as I remember the Upper Valley Mall being much larger than the Chautauqua Mall. Overall, that's at least one interesting thing about this mall. Another is JCPenney's departure and return to the mall, which is why if you can see, it kinda looks disjointed and tiny in that otherwise huge anchor space. But that's enough out of me. What did you think about the Chautauqua Mall? Love it? Hate it? Did I pronounce it incorrectly? I'm kinda sorry if I did. Do share your thoughts in the comments below. And of course, like and share this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers now. Let's make it happen. And if you come back here years later, hello to the future. Thanks for having me, Jamestown, New York. And until next time, this is Doomy Grunt wishing you and the Chautauqua Mall farewell and good luck. <laughs>